Welcome back to the channel. So here we are in Nosy B. There's a project here that was on Facebook, so I thought I'd come and have a look, check it out. You get this building here. It's three-story building, um, 12 apartment, like a hotel, small boutique hotel. Very, very nice. This is the road to get to it, so the road's not brilliant, but you could gravel the road. Probably cost you a thousand euro or something to get the road in reasonable order, so you could use it. Um, goes down to where you can see there and then to, then goes off to the left about the same distance again maybe twice twice the distance so it's quite a long road to get here not ideal as a hotel this like but it could be all right as apartments for the people who stay you know a month at a time and stuff it's in a reasonable location and um to buy a few nice big hotels let's go and have a look inside see what you get for your money so i'm taking I guess this is like a reception area, breakfast area, something like that maybe for this area here. It's a little bit of a strange design to be honest with you because this has been built by a Malagasy guy who lives in France who's built this. And um it's not up to it's not up to standard, that's for certain. Like it's too it's too small. The beams are too small. The fair size ten fair too small for three story but let's have a look anyway so you've got this room here this is oh this is the staircase this is the staircase so you'll come in here or oh, it should be the staircase i don't know why it's got beams in those beams need taken out sorry oh no yeah you probably there you go this will be the staircase here if you come up this staircase here from this way get up to there along there round the other way and then you come off the staircase over there so there's your staircase to get up to the free story let's have a look what we can see in there isn't it the land's 1300 meters goes to basically the back of this hut here room for a swimming pool in this bit there look at this like that's never a good sign, like it's cracking at the bottom because the foundations that this bit here is sitting on isn't strong enough to even hold this small wall. Oh my God. So if that's not not big enough to hold a small wall, then what about the foundations holding the rest of it? He's built it out of size 15 breeze blocks as well. Are they 15s? They're 15s. He's built it out of size 15 breeze block. Downstairs, it should be 20 down here. Size 20 cent, 20 centimetre, not 15 centimetre. He's put wooden beams in the floor. When well, that should be rebar and a, a concrete floor for each level. You don't want noise coming from the room up above you when you're here. Little bathroom area. And a, um, a sheep, a dead sheep. What else have we got? Let's check it out around here. It's interesting. This one's for sale for a hundred thousand euro, five hundred million for this. It's got electric next door. There's electric cables right next door to it, so the electric's not a problem. There's one bedroom, two bedrooms. Three bedrooms. No bathroom. There's no bathroom with them. And they're not big enough to have a bathroom in, 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 in situ in these ones here. So you've got three rooms with no bathrooms down there. Then you've got this other area here. And then you can have a similar design above it. Hmm. It's not good enough. This needs knocking down. A hundred grand. That's craziness. On this plot of land, there's no water. Even though they make it, they've made room for a swimming pool. There's no water around here. Maybe that house has got water. It's possible. It's possible it's got water. So maybe you can get water. If you can't get water, you'd be a long time filling up from the well, filling up a swimming pool. There's the electric there, so you can get electric direct from that post there, direct to your building. This is a problem in Madagascar. You get a lot of Malagas where they build something. And then they get halfway 
and they realize how much it's really going to cost to finish and then they think forget it can't do it i can't finish it there's no possible way you know but this here <laughs> not impressed i'm not impressed unfortunately but i'm looking for projects i'm looking for a project i want to build something similar to this myself like a 12 built 12 bedroom hotel or um apartments apartment hotel would be perfect that's what i'd like i want it in a really good area though i want the land to be perfect and this one here it's in the wrong location unfortunately although the the sea is just literally over there there's a sea just over there it's not so far probably a 10 minute walk and you're at the sea or three minute drive so there you go interesting but it's not for us not for us guys it's not for my investors that's for certain we shall move on and keep looking elsewhere probably best realistically if you're going to buy a property in madagascar you should buy one that's finished or if you're going to buy i love these half built ones but not to madagascar standards i don't like them because this needs knocking down you'd have to knock this down clean the clean the breeze blocks start again i should imagine it's too risky to finish it all and then put the roof on and then see it start see it start sinking into the ground or something it would just be a, a huge waste of money so you can't do that i mean obviously i could test to see how deep the foundations are how good the foundations are but um i don't like the fact that they've started with size 15 par pen breeze blocks at the bottom level when it's, they should have started with size 20 and i don't like the fact that they put wooden beams in for the floors because that's craziness can't have wooden beams can you It'd be noisy as hell people walking around upstairs while you're trying to sleep downstairs but there you go very nice little interesting building gives you an idea hundred thousand this here um twenty five thousand i'd offer twenty five thousand maybe if i really wanted to build this in this area which i don't so there you go we're out of here i'll keep looking thanks for watching from nosy b madagascar